And Tipperary Girls Technical Advisor again, Raw has invited Ayimba captain Mufon Udor and four other home-based players for Tuesday's international friendly against Liberia. Ikechuku Ezenwa, who is part of the score for Saturday's win over Seychelles, headlines are scored along with Adeleye Olamilekon of FC Fayuba, Ibubedu of Lobi Stars and Ayimba FC forward Sunday Aditunji. The newly invited home-based professionals have been directed to report uh, to Lagos on Monday ahead of the trip to Monrovia. Tuesday's match is in celebration of Liberian President George Ware and is scheduled for the Samuel Kayondo Sports Complex. The US Open men's single final is currently live and it took number six seed Novak Djokovic just 42 minutes to win the opening set of the US Open final, taking it 6-3 against Juan Martin del Potro. Djokovic immediately looked in electric form as he powered through his opening service games with the Porto and able to make an impact. The game is now in the second set and the 2009 champion del Porto will now need to up his level to force his way back into the match. America's Serena Williams has been fined a total of $17,000, that's about 6.1 million naira, for three code violations during the U.S. Open final. The tournament referee's office docked Williams $9,999 as 3.5 million naira for verbal abuse of chair umpire Carlos Ramos, $3,999, about 1.4 million naira for being warned for coaching, and $2,998, 1.07 million naira for breaking her racket. The money comes out of her prize money of $1.85 million, over 600 million naira she received as the tournament's runner-up. Williams lost to Naomi Osaka in Saturday's final. In the meantime, a very tired Naomi Osaka basked in the glory of her US Open victory earlier today, hoisting her trophy from a top Rockefeller center in New York a day after defeating Serena Williams in the final. Osaka, who is now the first Japanese to win a Grand Slam title, says her triumph still does not feel real. She says her target is to win more Grand Slams and become the women's number one. Well, it still doesn't really feel that real. Um, I think right now what I'm feeling is very tired is the main thing I feel so um, hopefully as that wears off then I'll start feeling more happy. Well the thing is I, I'm not really sure what happened between Serena and the Empire um, and I keep getting asked questions about it but I'm not too sure but uh, for me I don't know I, I think it's still a win so I'm just gonna count it as that. Congratulations to her. Nigeria's Kordri Aruna has emerged as men's singles champion at the 2018 IWTF African Championships in Mauritius earlier today. Kordri did not drop a point from the round of 64 until the final when he defeated Egypt Ahmed Saleh 4-1 to win his first African Championships title, which he narrowly lost to Egypt Omar Saar in 2016. Following the victory, an elated Aruna says, he is still eager to win the African Games, which he is yet to have in his kitty. And the women's singles, Dina Mesheriff beat colleague Reem El Iraqi 4-0 to reclaim the women's title she lost to Nigeria's Ulufunke Oshinaike in 2016. Andrea Dovicioso has scored a straightforward third win of the MOTOGP season at Misano ahead of Mark Marquez, his uh, Jorge Lorenzo crashed out of the second place. Well, Davizio's uh, win was Ducati's third in succession, the first time the Italian marquee has taken a hot trick since 2008. Lorenzo and Marcus managed to close the gap in the latter stages until the former slid out at the turn eight left-hander on the penultimate lap, which left uh, Davizio with a clear run to victory.
And a small aircraft has crashed near a river in Juba, the South Sudanese capital. At least 17 of the 22 passengers on board the plane are said to have died, while two people are still missing. One of the survivors, an Italian doctor working with an NGO, is in critical condition and undergoing surgery in Euro Hospital. Chief Executive Officer of South Sudan Civil Aviation Authority in Juba confirmed the crash, saying he was not yet sure of the death toll. Three children were among the 22 passengers. Several crashes have occurred in Warton, South Sudan in recent years. Last year, four passengers were injured after bad weather caused their plane to crash into a fire truck upon landing and burst into flames. Sweden's Nationalist Anti-Immigration Party has made gains in the country's general election as the establishment parties appear deadlocked. The Sweden Democrats, SD, are expected to achieve 19.2% of the vote. Neither the governing Social Democrats nor the centre-right bloc of parties are predicted to win a majority. Immigration has been a central issue of the campaign, according to Sweden Democrats' leader. Uh, the high number of migrants taken in by Sweden is driving up crime and putting the welfare system at risk. Sweden's economy is booming, but many voters are concerned that housing, health care and welfare services have come under pressure from a wave of immigration during the 2015 migrant crisis. In New York, authorities have reopened a subway station 17 years after it was shut following the 9-11 attack. Cotland Street on the one lane was buried under debris when the two World Trade Center towers collapsed after hijackers crashed planes into them. Nearly 3,000 people died and thousands more were injured in the 2001 attack. The newly fully accessible station built at the cost of $181.8 million required an entirely new ceiling to be built and 365 meters of track to be replaced. It now boasts state-of-the-art technology like a new air ventilation system to keep the platform cool and fewer columns to help with passenger flow. And the main news again. Troops of the Nigerian army today said they have successfully repelled an attack by Boko Haram terrorists at Gudumbali, Bornu State. Spokesman of the Nigerian Army Brigadier General Texas Chuku said the troops also inflicted overwhelming casualties on the insurgents, forcing several to flee to take the fringes of Lake Chad. Well, the need for love and respect among couples formed the crux of discussions at the 2019 marriage conference organized by the Rose of Sharon Glorious Ministry. And 19 persons have been killed after a small passenger plane crashed into a lake in central South Sudan. And of course, we, like we told you, the game is on with uh, Djokovic uh, scaling through the first set. And we'll bring you an update here on Channels Television. And that's News at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Melissa Informoka.